I'm sorry guys, but WHAT WERE YOU EXPECTING?! <laughs> Enjoy the show. STOP IT! 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 Kiki, do you love me? You're not gonna believe what just happened. Is he singing to himself again? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Talking to Myself News. This is the first episode in like, I don't know, seven, eight months. And the first new episode to premiere on my new Skull Media channel. I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson, and I'm gonna tell you how my life is going. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, <laughs> I have a beard, legitimately a beard. It's got orange hair on it, which means I'm 75% Irish and 25% German, obviously, but you already know that. So I went bowling a few times in the last few months. And I gotta tell you, I've gotten better in some respects, and I've stagnated in others. But I'm averaging 100 points a game now when it comes to bowling. And I think I'm doing really, really well so far, and I can't complain because, you know, I mean, since I'm being honest here, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way, but I've tried to make up for them in more than one way. So at the end of the day, it's like, well, it's kind of a one step forward, 20 steps back kind of thing. So it seems like no matter what I do, I end up screwing up at some point. But you guys already know that. You can relate to that. You can... Because there's... I've learned in this life that money doesn't grow on trees, no matter how many people want you to be convinced of otherwise. And it's just really sad that people think that money grows on trees when they know it doesn't. Because last time I checked, you got to work for your money. So I'm thinking about getting me a job at Dollar General soon. Stocking shelves. You know, that sort of thing. I mean, my mom just got her first job in 15 years. She's working at an Arby's now. And you know what else is good? What else is good is that Despite the fact that I haven't really been socializing nearly as much due to the pandemic and all that stuff, I think I've done remarkably well. Remarkably well. So, I really don't know what else to say aside from that. But I can tell you this. I've gotten to see my sister. And you know, I've been hauling mulch. I had been hauling mulch for about eight and a half months, and then the cold weather hit, and then I just had to stop because, you know, I can't handle cold weather. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not tolerant to the cold. You guys already know that. I think I might have said that on my previous channel multiple, multiple times. But life is good so far. I can't complain. It's really been good to me, and, you know, I've been... Despite that, you know, I've been really, I've been stressed out a lot because I've been having to look for things that I've been searching for for hours and hours and hours on end and I still can't find the damn things because it's allegedly somewhere that I put them. It's wherever I put them, supposedly. So I'm forcing myself to take the heat for everything. Nobody's blaming me for anything, but I'm forcing myself to take the blame for everything because for some reason, I just assume everything's going to be my fault anyway. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, everything that happens is I'm just going to blame myself for it because whatever happens, happens. Winter time. It's winter time. And... <laughs> It's 63 fucking degrees in the middle of December. What? That's fucking nuts, man. 
I tell you, it's 63 degrees in the middle of December. And it feels great, but it's just not seasonable weather. It really isn't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the cold weather. I just can't tolerate it. You know, I'm used to having spring and summer and fall as my go-to seasons. But then again, you got to consider winter is the season of a dark and long cold. And I just don't find myself very tolerable to it. And it lasts for like three, I mean, the last winter lasted for about five freaking months. It didn't start getting warm until freaking May. So you got to take that into consideration. <laughs> Trying to wipe the imaginary sweat off my brows. You can tell. I'm going to go inside, really, because I'm just going to see what else is new, and I'm going to tell you what my life is really about, and I'm going to just show you guys what I'm about, and I might even play you a tune. So, you guys better stay tuned, because it's going to be good. Guys, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. As you can tell, I'm home with my dogs, my fish, well, they're not really my fish, I just take care of them. The same way that they're not really my dogs, I just take care of them. You know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching, and I've, like I said, I've gotten really stressed out here lately with all this bullshit that has been going on and really I've gotten to a point in which I'm addicted to junk food I'm addicted to junk food I can't I can't explain why because well actually hell why don't I just be honest with you guys I'm addicted to junk food because it's a coping mechanism for me I'm addicted to junk food because it helps me ease my pain the same way walking around the neighborhood used to ease my pain. Now it doesn't anymore because I can't go out in public without wearing a fucking mask. But you already know that. But I'm with these dogs. I take care of them 24 hours a day. It's a 24-7 job as you can tell. God forbid anyone has to walk in my shoes having to take care of all these animals anyone else wouldn't wouldn't have made it as far as i have because you know i've been here four and a half years as of me recording and it's just really i want something new in life i want to be able to publish my music i want to be able to publish my books but I haven't been able to freaking do that yet because of the constant struggle that is the so-called American dream, which it's not. It's all a lie. The American dream is a lie because you'd have to be asleep to believe it. I believe George Carlin once said it himself. Excuse me a minute while I make some more coffee. I'm just going to ramble on for a minute. Ease my mind a bit.
So I've been making new music as of late. I've been making new music as of late because, quite frankly, I have nothing better to do except my house chores and, quite frankly, jacking off. Well, I, I do that anyway, but since I'm bored and I have nothing better to do, I just usually sleep during the day sometimes because I get bored and I nap. I nap. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course there isn't, but see, I've gotten so bored lately to where I do it excessively. I seem to do it excessively now. Because I have no fucking life. I want a social life. And I will do anything to get a social life. And I'm not going to stop until I get one. And you know, so many times in the last few months, I've been thinking about leaving my current residence, knowing that I don't have a place else to go, knowing that if I leave here, I can't come back, but at the same time, it's like, well, I'm stuck between a fucking rock and a hard place, so it's like, no matter what I do, no matter what I want to do, I can't do it because, quite frankly, I'm stuck. It's like I was in the group home setting years ago, if you get what I'm saying. Not that it matters or anything, but, you know, fuck it. Life is life. You gotta do something when you gotta do it. But this world has really fucking brought me down. This world has brought me down to such an extent that I can't, that I just don't care anymore. I don't care about my health anymore. I don't care what happens to me anymore. I just want to see my family not struggle for once. Because I'm not doing this for me anymore. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for them because they want to see me succeed. Everybody that I've talked to about this wants to see me succeed. But they want me to stay here because it'll be helping my landlord out. Meaning the person who owns the place. It'll help the people I live with out. It'll, you know, it's just stuff like that. And I think it's really sad that it's had to get to this point to where, oh, oh, by the way, I live with a, um, I live with a hoarder. Well, not really, but I just think she is. But that's just, that's my opinion, um, Entitled to think that way that doesn't make it right That doesn't make it right, but you know what? That's how I feel about it That's how I feel about it and quite frankly, I'm not wrong to think that I'm not right to think that either. I'm just somewhere in between wrong and right. I always have been I've always been I've always been in the middle when it comes to right and wrong. I never really understood that until a few years ago when I came here. But I've always been in the middle of right and wrong. I've never... You know, I'm, I'm keeping my Christmas list short this year because, quite frankly, all I want is to see my family and go bowling and get a new laptop because my old one, as you can tell, died. And that's how... That's what led to me creating this second small media channel. But you guys already know that, so I don't have to keep telling you guys this, unless, of course, your attention span is less than three seconds, at which point I'd have to keep telling you this, because that's the only way I'm going to get a three of its adults. Bottom line, I didn't write all of my passwords down when my old phone died, so that left me in a bind. So I'm definitely going to have to make sure to write my passwords down this time. If you get what I'm saying. Not that that means anything, of course, but we all know where stuff like this goes. Straight to hell in a handbasket. You guys still with me? After about 15 freaking minutes? Yeah. I thought so. I'm glad you guys are sticking around. I'm glad you guys are here.
That way I have someone to talk to, someone to talk to so I'm not bored. Someone to talk to so that at least I know I'm safe sharing information about my personal life with people because at least they can understand and relate to it. Because if I don't share this information with people, then how is it going to look on me? It's not going to look very good, right? If I just keep to myself all the time and not share this information with people, then I look like a complete fucking idiot. I look like a fucking schmuck, right? So here I am explaining things to people as best as I can. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. But at the end of the day, that's just my thoughts on the matter, and that's the way I feel. I'm not going to deny it. I have thought about giving up on this life. I have. I've thought about giving up on life in general, but the one thing that hasn't stopped me from pursuing my dreams is the fact that I have a vision. I have a story that I've been working on for 20 years in the Brahman Chronicles saga. And the first three books have taken me 20 years of rough drafts and revisions and all this sorts of crap and I'm still not done with it for some reason because it's just not good enough yet and I believe with this final draft I think it's going to be good enough in fact I know it's going to be good enough for a fact without a doubt in my mind because I'm going to continue working on it no matter what happens I'm going to continue working on it no matter what happens. And when I finish working on it, believe me, it's going to be good. Then I can publish it to the world and get my name out there and be able to say that I fucking did it. After 20 years, I fucking did it. I made a trilogy of books and I fucking did it. I can be able to say that. But there are some people in this world who have been working on their own books for years and years and years and years and years and years and years like I have, and they'll never be able to publish it because they don't have the money for it. That's because, well, they think money grows on TV, so they don't think they have to work for it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Of course there's not. Freedom of speech is critical in a, in a, in a republic, a constitutional republic. You thought I was going to say democracy, didn't you? Because this democracy doesn't exist. It's all a lie. But yeah, I mean... This world has brought me down so many pegs to where I just don't care anymore. I really don't give a shit anymore. I'm just done with this planet. I'm done with this world. And as much as I want off of it, I have to stay on it for as long as God allows me to because that's his way of telling me, hey, you got to suffer like everybody else. I'm not forcing you to do anything. But you got to suffer like everybody else if you want to survive in this world. And that's basically that, if you get what I'm saying. Not that that matters or anything, but fuck it. Things are what they are for a reason. You know, I ramble on about stuff like this because I'm worried. I'm worried about things. I really, really am. And it just concerns me a great deal to know that there are people out there who would rather have big tech destroy their lives by telling them everything that they can and can't do, knowing that that's a clear example of socialism, that it's not going to lead to anything but pain and misery and bread lines, if you get what I'm saying. But back to me now. Back to me now. The point I'm trying to make is... Nobody knows what's best for me but myself and God. Nobody else. Just myself and God. Because God wants me to go out there and be the best that I can be and damn me, damn me to hell if I'm not going to do that. Because I got to do this. I got to support His vision because His vision is the only vision that's good and right. And it's the only thing that is right. Nothing else is right quite like God's vision. But the point I'm trying to make in all this is that 
I don't have to take this bullshit anymore. I could cast my chips in and leave, but I'd have nowhere else to go, so I'd have to move back in with my family. Not that that means anything, but it totally doesn't mean anything anymore, because at the end of the day, I'm just a fucking poor schmuck that's gullible and easy to take advantage of, because everyone I've known in this life has taken advantage of me in some way, except for a select few people, and I think I know what these people are, and I'm not going to tell you who these people are, because I'm going to keep it between myself and them. But, the thing is, when I work hard for something, I know that I can reach it. You know, this, this brass ring that they talk about, it's imaginary, but damn me if I'm not going to work hard for that brass ring to reach it, to get my place at the table, because if I know what's best for me, i got to keep working for it. If that makes any sense. And it probably does, depending on who you talk to, but knowing me and knowing everyone else, it probably won't make sense because there are lots of people that can relate to it but aren't exactly in my situation. Because they don't, their situation doesn't apply to mine. I'm like Joe when he lost everything his land, his cattle, his sheep, everything. And he, I remember, I remember this telling of that particular moment when Job just lost it and went on a tirade on his friends because they couldn't relate to his situation. And they weren't in his situation specifically because his situation was so complex and yet God asked him all these questions that he couldn't answer and then that makes me realize, hey, I'm in Job's same situation just like Daniel was in Job's situation throughout his life. And I'm not talking about my older cousin either. I'm talking about another Daniel that happened to be in the Bible that had a book dedicated to him. But that's one thing. The other thing is I'm going to have to work harder than I've ever worked before if I want to achieve my dreams. Because life is about working your ass off. It's about fighting your ass off. It's about scratching and crawling your ass off and climbing ever so carefully to the top because if you ever want to achieve something in this life, you've got to work hard for it. You've got to work your ass off for it. And that's what I've been trying to do. And there are so many people in this life that just don't see it in the way that I do. And it's like, well, how the fuck am I going to get through to them? How the fuck else am I going to get through to them knowing everything that I've seen and heard? And they just bark at everything because that's all they do is call us. They don't know any better. Of course, we all know that. It's a fact. It's been proven over time. And meanwhile, I'm just a guy with a drum. Banging the drum to my own beat. Marching to my own tune. That's just kind of what I do, if you get what I'm saying. But basically, at some point, it's like, what the hell else do I have to do to get something around here? It's crazy, because I'm just, I mean, I'm basically rambling at this point, but I'm trying to make sense, too, and I'm not, I don't think I'm doing a very good job. But if you guys think I'm doing a very good job at trying to make sense of this, that's okay, because... I care about what you guys think. Unlike Big Ted, unlike social media sites like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, but I say YouTube because YouTube is silencing conservatives too. No, they're no better than Twitter and Facebook, but I'm a loyal YouTuber because I care about this social media site. I care about it and I want it to succeed, but it's not going to succeed if it keeps turning a blind eye to crime. You know, mainly the stuff that goes on at the very top. I mean, you have to, it, it starts at the top, ladies and gentlemen, it starts at the top. But here I stand, a, 20, a soon to be 27 and a half year old man. I've accomplished nothing about what I want to accomplish in this life. And I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling because for some reason I think I'm doing something right when in reality I'm not. I'm just stubborn. I'm too stubborn for my own good 
And I think I know that, but for some reason I don't care to let it on as much as I should. And that's been my problem this whole time. I don't care to let things on as much as I should. I think they're in one place, but they're in another completely. And when I find that place to be in the other place completely, it's almost like I've wasted my time thinking that it's in one place when I know for sure that it's not. Basically what I'm saying is, I overlook things constantly. When it comes to looking for stuff, I overlook things like 20, 30, 40 times sometimes before I find them. So it's kind of purposeless to overlook things because I'm not a very good searcher. I'm not a good searcher. And I don't think I'm a very good person either because I'm just... I just feel like I'm a terrible person because I do terrible things seemingly sometimes because it's just it's really hard to explain. I mean, I've been making the same mistakes since I was born. I've been making the same mistakes for many, many years and I've tried to correct my mistakes and I've tried to do something to make good on correcting those mistakes, but I fail every time and it's kind of kind of sad really but at the end of the day that's the price I pay for being stubborn and I'll continue paying that price until I'm dead or until I find a way to correct those mistakes one and I don't think it's looking good on the former because that's probably what's going to happen the former is probably going to happen but the way I look at it like I said I don't give a damn about my health anymore, I don't care about my health anymore, I just want to succeed in life, I want to be able to succeed, I want to be able to climb the ladder and reach the brass ring, I want to succeed, that's all I want, I literally care about nothing else in this life except success, taking care of these animals, being able to correct my mistakes, my mistakes and most of all succeeding, you you did notice how I tried to combine the words success and mistake, right? A stake? Yeah. Kind of like a portmanteau of some sorts. But you guys already know this. So, I mean, there's, there's nothing I haven't said in this video that you guys haven't already known before when you were following my previous Skull Media channel. That's the one with the skull, with the uh, colorful skull on it with the rainbow background, in case you're wondering. I'll link you guys to it in the description if ever you want to check it out and my over 900 videos on that channel. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I'm a flawed man and I make mistakes all the time and I'm no good. I'm no good. Only God is good, because I'm not. And the same can be said for any human being. We human beings, we're no good because we fail our God every day. I try not to fail my God every day, but like I said, I just keep falling on my ass every time, and I just don't seem to know how to correct that. I just have no idea how to correct that. And it's really frustrating to me. It's an agonizingly slow process for me because it seems like no matter what I do to reach that brass ring, I take one foul misstep and I'm all the way back down to the bottom. I fall straight back down to the bottom, metaphorically injuring myself in the process and basically putting my foot in my mouth because I say things that I shouldn't say and things that I don't necessarily mean. So I have to take accountability for that. And if I don't take accountability for that, then I look like a complete asshole. Does that make sense to you guys? Because I, I know it should. I know it should because I try to be a good person for God every day and I just can't seem to do it. But I'm not going to stop trying. I'm going to keep trying. At some point I'm going to succeed. I just don't know when. But I'm going to keep I'm going to keep attempting to be a good person for God because that's what I was born on this planet to do. To do my best, to be at my best whenever I can, and to not foul up. That's 
basically it. That's that's the goal of every human being in this life is to not fuck up. And with me personally, I can't go a single day without doing that. I can't seem to go a single day without messing up. And it's just frustrating as hell. Anyway, I thought I was going to be able to have time to make some kind of music before I close this episode, but it doesn't seem like I have time. So in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time, all of your time, and God bless you guys because it means a lot. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.